Hi, and welcome to New Testament Survey Online Course with Greenville University. My name is Nate Kerr, and I will be acting as your instructor and professor to guide you through the course this semester. Uh, a little bit about myself. I live in Nashville, Tennessee with my wife and two kids. Though I live in Nashville, I'm originally from Chicago, and I still consider Chicago home, as you can see behind me. Uh, I'm a big Bulls fan as well as a big basketball fan. My daughter plays basketball. In fact, I have, as I said, two kids, a 17-year-old daughter named Zoe and a two-year-old son named Silas. Interestingly, Zoe and Silas both get their names from the New Testament. Zoe is the Greek word that is often translated throughout the New Testament as life. And Silas is actually from the New Testament as a missionary companion of Paul's on his first two missionary journeys. Acts tells us this incredible story, actually, of Paul and Silas, in which in Philippi, Paul and Silas get arrested and jailed for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And in the course of praying for their release, they experience an earthquake in which their chains are shattered and the doors of the prison are blown open. And so in Christian art throughout history, you also you all often see Silas as this character from the New Testament who is represented as carrying these broken chains. Silas is a strong, bold character throughout the New Testament, a character full of life, and I think that adequately describes my two children, my two-year-old Silas, as well as my daughter Zoe. And of course, I live with my wife, Kelly. With Kelly, I share a love for Johnny Cash and a passion for justice in the world, pure and simple. So now that you know a little bit about me, I'd like to get to know you a little bit as well. And so your first assignment for this course is to go to the initial welcome discussion forum and post your own introduction to yourself in which you tell us your name, where you are from, your major at Greenville University, and one thing that you are looking forward to or that you hope to get out of this course. This first discussion forum is not graded, but it is required to count your attendance the first week of class, and it is required for you to continue with the course and to pass the course. After you do that, take a look at the syllabus in the online website for the course, as well as the web platform D2L that our course is on. Doing these two things will allow you to familiarize yourself with the readings, the assignments for the course, the schedule for the course. As you do this, you'll notice that the readings and the assignments are very much focused on writing and dialogue. In fact, discourse or dialogue or conversation, even arguments are important in understanding and interpreting the New Testament. And much of our learning this year will be done in the discussion forums. In fact, the discussion forums is where I will be doing most of my engagement with you as a professor, and outside of my lectures is where I will be doing most of my direct teaching in response to your responses to the discussion prompts each week. So the first week of class, we do have a discussion forum uh, due to um, in response to the initial introductory reading for the course. So once you've looked over the syllabus and D2L and got a sense of the layout and the schedule for the course, go ahead and jump right into the reading for this course, and we will get started right away in the discussion forum for this week. I'm really, really looking forward to get to knowing all of you throughout the semester, engaging with you in conversation about the New Testament, and learning even more about the New Testament. The new introduction to the New Testament or New Testament survey is really one of my favorite courses to teach because no matter how many times I teach it, I always learn something new about the New Testament and how to interpret it from you, the students of this course. And I'm very much looking to the same thing this semester. So without any further ado, I look forward to hearing from you in the welcome discussion and learning a little bit about 
you yourself. And then after that, I will see you in the first discussion forum and we will be off and running. If you need anything at all from me this semester, my contact information is in the syllabus. You're free to email me at any time. I will reply to you within 48, 24 hours. And you are also free to use my phone number to text me during day hours, and I will usually respond to those as well pretty quickly. So don't hesitate to reach out to me. Don't hesitate to make recourse to me, and together, uh, hopefully, we will learn something about the New Testament and grow together in our conversations about the text. I look forward to seeing you in the discussion forums.